Hello and welcome to our pit chat here in Mantua, round 15 already, and we're joined by a man we haven't seen for a very long time. It's Max Nagel. Max, it's so good to have you back. It really is. Yeah, of course, it was quite a long time, too long, but now I'm really happy to be back racing finally. Because just after the accident, you, we spoke to your team and they were saying that you tried to get on the bike, you did some testing, but it just wasn't quite happening for you. Just tell us the details of what happened, how you made the decision to come back now and not sooner. Yeah, when the accident happened in Teutschnall, I went straight to Halle where they make uh, on the same day the operation to get it healed as fast as possible. And then uh, we had some talks with the doctor and we said, OK, let's try to go racing in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So I went training before Sweden and did some riding to try out. But it was making the ankle or the injury worse. So then um, I had to quit Sweden and uh, uh, <laughs> Lettland. Mm -hmm. I continued riding, training and make it even worse and worse. So went again to the doctor for a checkup and then he could see that the bone was getting black. So that means there's like a hole coming in because of too much pressure on it, you know, because normally you should rest it after operation. Yeah. Yeah. But we said, we have the red number plate, we're leading championship, we need to try everything. So I was training and pushing to get as soon as possible back to the bike, even then we tried for locket, but yeah, it didn't went. I, I could not even walk probably, you know, so how you can race a bike, so then we had to make the decision to rest another three weeks and uh, give it really a rest, don't move it like, and uh, using a brace, uh, yeah, then that's it. It must have been so frustrating for you as a rider, as well as for your team, to have that red plate and just come to that decision, I need to stop if I need to move forward in the, in the long run. Yes, because I was home and watching, of course, the races, following the results and uh, could see my position dropping back place by place, losing points losing the red plate and I was so frustrated then. But there's nothing you can do, you know. I was still trying to push hard to train, but then it was making the ankle worse, so I had to rest again. It was always like up and down and it was really frustrating. And uh, the last two GPs, then I was not following anymore because I was so oh, really? frustrated. I said, I don't want to see it dropping me back further, you know, from the points. And now I'm back here, so now I I'm finally can race again. Okay, the championship is over for me. But still, uh, I want to make a good end of the season. It's always better to start into the wind than for next year. Yeah, absolutely. And I know, like you said, the past few weeks have been frustrating for you. But on a positive note, last year you came back after injury in Germany and you won a race. So are you looking to do that this weekend? Are you ready to win now, not just compete? No, it was, last year it was different because I had, I had way more time to prepare myself. Mm -hmm. Now it was, because um, now I'm uh, fifth in the championship, I still can make a fourth or a third. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not 100% yet, maybe 80%. I did just uh, five times of riding now. Last year I had really like a four weeks preparation before I come back to Teutschental. This time it's a bit different, but if I would take the time now, then the season is already over and uh, I don't have the time. So that's why we decide now come back month, or even if I'm not mm -hmm. fully fit. But uh, you need to start somewhere now and then maybe we can make a good end in the last two overseas and the uh, MX of Nations. Of course, and like you said, in terms of the points, you don't have the points, but you coming back can actually make a really big difference in this championship with your role being here. How do you think it's going to mix things up for you? And for everyone else as well. With Roman Febro, you've got, you know, Gautier Polan as well. Yeah, these guys are still fighting for the top three. Mm -hmm. But I mean, from the third place, I'm not so far off. So there's still a possibility. I don't know. It depends on yeah, how I feel, you know. But um, I will try to do my best. Um, there's nobody I have to help in the championship, so I can really focus just on my racing and uh, do the best we can for the team. When you were injured, uh, you, you left and it was a totally different championship to what it is now. How, I mean, you said you started watching and then you couldn't. Are you, can you believe how it's changed? I mean, I can't believe it, especially in MXGP and MX2, just how much it's changed in a matter of weeks. I don't know actually uh, how, how the series was changed now since I'm not racing anymore, but there's missing a few good guys, you know, there's Filippotto missing, Tony missing, Desal, me, all the good riders are missing now. So I think that makes a big change for the championship, of course. Um, but yeah, in the moment, I don't know what's going wrong, in, wrong with this sport, why everybody is injured. But uh, we still need to find maybe a different way. Maybe it's a case of not going wrong with the sport, but it might be a case of just unlucky. You just do not know what's going to happen. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen this weekend. It could be good, it could be bad, but I guess that's what makes it so exciting in a way. No one really knows what's around the corner, quite literally. 
Yeah, of course, for the spectators and um, from outside, that's looking fantastic, you know. But the actual speed, what's in the moment is so high, it makes it quite mm -hmm. dangerous. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's the reason why. But uh, we, we are professional sports people, so we have to deal with it and get or find a way to win races but don't get injured. That's difficult. Exactly, but part of dealing with it is dealing with the injury as well and dealing with that frustration and everything. But uh, I know last time we were here in Mantua, I think 2010 it was, you were on the podium. So what are your thoughts on the track here? Sandy, but quite hard pack as well. Yeah, I like this kind of track. Um, first of all, Italy always they have nice tracks and Mantua was always, always really good prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, they give good weather yep. and um, we have been here racing so many times, always also the star course, you know, in the preseason and coming here so many times for testing. So everybody knows this track really well. Also me, I like it. The layout is really nice and uh, I'm just looking forward to do this race here. Well, good luck for your first GP back. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us for our pitch chat. You can watch Max and all the riders live this Sunday on MXGPTV.com. We'll see you then.